Hello, thank you for joining. Today we're going to provide an overview of the Dell EMC vCloud Director Data Protection Extension. We're going to run through the use case of setting up an organization into our vCloud Data Protection Extension, applying policies so that that tenant user can deploy backups and run data protection inside of vCloud Director. So initially, as we log into our data protection extension, you'll be brought to the home page, which gives you options of setting up all the different features that will be required to provide data prote protection to your organization. In this example, we're going to add a brand new organization that's been added to vCloud Director, but has not yet been registered inside of our data protection extension. We have the ability to, from directly inside of here, register this organization so that we can now provide additional data protection resources. This will run through a couple quick tasks of registering the organization and creating some of the hooks that we need for our data protection extension to supply that, those policies. Now that the organization has been registered, we have a green check. We can go ahead and configure our policies that need policy templates that we can then publish into this organization for use inside of their VDCs. So we go to our policy templates tab. And inside of here, we have options for catalog schedules, retentions, and advanced options. For this use case, we're going to start with just showing a retention. And now we already have some base ones in here. We're going to add a new one for purpose of this demo. We give it a name and provide a description. And inside of here, we have multiple settings. We can select the number of days, weeks, months, or years, depending on the end user's requirements. We can also do more of an adaptive retention where we can keep different copies for different periods of time, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. For simplicity, we'll just keep this at 60 days, and we will go ahead and create that retention template. You see that we have one there now. We will go in and create a schedule to tell our tenant when their backups are going to be run. So we'll add a new one. Here we have options for daily, weekly, monthly, or on-demand only backups. You can select different time zones based on where your end users are going to be located. We'll just select the daily backup, and let's run that at 7 p.m. You can run multiple schedule times on a daily basis if you need more than one copy. For our instance, we're going to run a 24-hour backup window, so we're only going to run these once a day. You have the ability to limit how long each run goes. We're going to give these a couple more hours just for the sake of completion, although all backups usually complete very, very quickly with this plugin. Once we've created our retention template and our schedule template, now we can create catalogs that can be published into the different VDCs. We select the retentions that we select we created earlier, a new schedule, new retention. And we're going to leave our base option sets, which is blank at this point, doesn't have any additional advanced features. Once that's created, we now have a, a catalog template that we can deploy to our organizations and VDCs. So now I can go back to my organization that was registered earlier, D Corp. I can see the gold VDC that we it was created inside of vCloud Director. As you see, I have no repositories yet to land backups on, so I need to add one of those. So we will call this vCloud Repository. This is where you can allow quotas for how many megabytes are allowed each day into the repository and how many you can allow total overall into the repository. We want to enable these so that we can allow backups to go. In our instance, we're selecting this data domain virtual edition that is provided inside of our environment. We'll add that repository. 
see a couple tasks be created. That once this is available and active, we have a green check. Now we're able to write backups into this. So if we dig a little bit deeper into the repository, we get all those options we set from the megabytes allowed and allowed per day. Those can be modified on the fly. You can enable and disable directly from these screens. We also have the ability inside of here to create replication policies. So if you had a secondary data domain that you want to provide offsite copies to, you could configure that inside of here to allow replication of backups once they've been written to send to an offsite copy for disaster recovery purposes or secondary copies. Now inside of my gold VDC, I have a repository. Now I need to use those policies that I've created previously to allow this end user to be able to run backups. So inside of here, I have that base that we created, but here's our new one that we just added all of our options to. We'll select that. It shows the schedules and options that we created, and we can just give it a name. We'll call this Corp Policy. Once that is added, we now have policies inside of here that the end users can use to supply backups. From a system administrator perspective, this tenant is now able to apply these policies and run them against their vApps and VMs inside of the cloud director. These can all be looked at and modified if so needed from inside of this system administrator view where you can select different retention schedules or you can just look at the overall summary. If I would so choose, I can select this as the default policy for everything that's created inside of this VDC, which would be an overarching, overarching policy that will provide data protection for anything that's created. Inside of here, I can have multiple policies for different retention sets and different backup times, and then I can always select the default one so that I have protection against all, all resources that are created inside of my VDC. Thank you for joining. That concludes our system administrator view of providing data protection with the Dell EMC vCloud data protection extension.